Hey guys, Batman's here. Again, trying a little different camera angle today. So, we'll see how it goes. I thought I would uh, touch base a little. I know I said I got some projects that I'm going to be working on this winter. Um, I already started one of them. I started one. I took my Mosin that got apart. And I'm going to shorten the barrel another 4 inch. Or, uh, I think I'm going to shorten it to 20 inches. It's 24 inches now. I'm going to take four more off it. Cut her down to 20 inches. Uh, refinish. Try to uh, see what it's going to take for me to get a crown on there. Uh, the last time I did it was with a uh, Dremel. So maybe I'll just crack out the Dremel again and make a new crown on it. And, uh, we're not real sure what we're going to do. The other project. And I'll have to put before pictures up here. Unless I already did. I don't remember. This is a Taurus Model 82. Um, I've stripped it. It was hydro dipped. And that's where the pictures are going to have to come in. I uh, cleaned up the grips. They hydro dipped everything. I cleaned up the grips the best I could. I don't think I'm going to get them much better. Uh, but I am going to try. I'm going to take a pick and I'm going to go through some of this checkering. Better I'm going to sand the checkering out of it and not have it there. Don't know. We'll work on it. But I have pretty much stripped it. So this is project, hmm, I don't know, somewhere on the list. <laughs> I've got all winter. My furnace is about to kick in and I'm down in my basement. So, And uh, it's all of... Look at my phone. It's one degree. Monday is supposed to have a minus 15 for a high. <laughs> so we're kind of cooling off a little bit. Um, today's Thursday. I'm generally off on Thursdays. Try to make. Um, so anyway, there are some finish issues. I think you can probably see some of the the ick in there. It's it's not cool. There are some dings in there. Right up in there. I'm gonna try to get that out. Or at least part part way out before I refinish it. Usually when you get a ding like that, it takes the metal around it and kind of pushes it up. So if I take and I uh, oh I'll probably use a, a diamond file. I know this is a knife sharpener, but it's also a diamond file. I'll probably use that and just, uh, you know, because that's big and it's flat, I can keep it pretty flat. So I should be able to keep it that way and just go like this and knock down any high spots. And I'm seeing, well, this, I would expect it here where the barrel threads in. I would expect this to be a high spot, and I would expect some back here from repeated hammer strikes. So, I don't know, it might take me a little more thinking to get it to do exactly what I want to do. There's two different grits on here. I'll start with coarse, go to fine. It does a pretty good job sharpening that knife. So, that's project one or two or three or four. Uh, part of it's the Mosin. We get that uh, barrel cut back down. Get a crown into it. Uh, see where we can go with that. I do have some uh, glue and rust remover <laughs> that we're using to get the old gluing off. Once it's off, um, this has been stripped. There is a little bit of pitting. This is the crane. So it's got some pitting in there. and But all the finish is stripped off it. So I'm going to have to do a little sanding on it with some pretty fine sandpaper. What I'll probably do when I do that is put this back in the frame so the places that it meets the frame up in here all get sanded at the same time. And that'll, what that'll do is it'll keep it nice and smooth there. It won't leave a ridge not that I'm going to take a lot of metal off. I'm going to take a very small amount of metal off of here. So, 
That's how we're going to do that. The other project. Should have been better prepared. Is here. This is Glenfield Model 60. And it has issues. There's some paint on the stock. There, some finish issues. Um, let's see if you can see that up here, right here. There's some rust, pretty severe. So the barrel itself looks pretty good. I'm going to take the rear sight off it, which is going to throw everything out of whack. But it's just dovetailed, so I'm just going to kind of gently knock it out of there. There's some rust around the dovetail here both sides and around where your uh, guy, your uh, elevator is. And the site is kind of crusty looking too. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to get rid of that and I'm just going to touch up blue it. The barrel I see has some pits here but no rust so I think somebody might have tried to do a touch up on it before and regardless we're going to completely disassemble this and I haven't really decided if I want to keep the wood stock. Uh, ATI makes one called their Fiber Force stock for the Model 60. And I've been thinking pretty hard about that. That might be kind of cool to just do a little tactical 22. Uh, this should be an 18 round. That's old enough. This should hold 18 in the uh, tube as opposed to the 15s. Uh, my other Glenfield also holds 15. So, I don't know. The, the finish on the receiver isn't too bad. I can probably touch that up. It's an aluminum receiver, so I can probably touch that up with a, one of the Birchwood Casey pens. Um, but that's one of the other projects. Just to uh, clean it up. It's uh, My other one is very pretty. <laughs> the finish is immaculate on it all the way around. And it shoots like a dream, but I really don't want to be banging it around in the woods. I got this one strictly to beat up if I need to. Not beat up so much, but not feel bad about taking it in the woods. My luck, it'll turn out so beautiful that I won't want to take it out in the woods. So, there we go. That is another project. Um, once, once the Taurus is all done, I'll be making a holster for that. Um, so maybe I, I've never done a revolver holster except for my Haas, and that was just kind of a, not for necessarily for carry. This one is going to be to carry. I'm a big enough guy to pull off carrying a uh, four inch revolver. <laughs> I also need, uh, I need to do a lot of other uh, leather stuff. I need to make another bag for my wife because she wants a cool purse, apparently. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's that's a couple of, a couple of the uh, projects that are in the works. And I'll try to uh, keep up a little better with those than I have in the past. Uh, I, this camera is staying here on my bench pop the memory card out of it, take it up to my computer and download it, bring it back, stick it back in. I also have an X second memory card so I can, if I forget, <laughs> I can pop it in there. And my phone obviously does okay video too. So I have those options and I don't know. Oh, let me see if I can grab it quick. I think I've said before that I've never been a fan of a dangler sheath, but, you know, <laughs> this one, I don't know, it came out pretty nice, I don't like the split ring, I have to find a better ring to put on here, um, and it's just a brass toned split ring, but 
this is ultimately more a companion. And I needed a left-handed knight, or a left-sided sheet. So, I left a drain hole in the bottom. And if I need to, I can get it out with one hand. It's not, <laughs> it's clumsy, but it comes out. You know, and it's just, it's just a leather sheet. It's nothing fancy. And I think it came out pretty good. Um, I do have, one of my other projects is the Mora 511 that I have. I think that's what it, what it is. I don't know, it's a craft line something or another. Um, but it's got a kind of a weird handle on it. I'm going to be doing a review on this. Not that there aren't a million reviews on it. So maybe I won't, I don't know. These Mora knives are pretty uh, solid and for the money. You can't really go wrong. I think, uh, I want to say I might have spent 10 or 15 bucks on this one. The craft line was less than 10, or the uh, 511 was less than 10. Um, this is the sheet that comes with it. It comes with a good solid, it's a plastic sheet, but you can, you can actually feel the knife lock in and hear it and you can just pop it right out. It's got a place to purchase your thumb right here and you pop it right out of there. So uh, this is not a bad sheet and I could wear it on my left side but it would be uncomfortable. It would be backwards. <laughs> so it would be a little uncomfortable and I just wanted thought hey I'll make a sheet for it. So the uh, I had the leather, it's nothing fancy leather, and I had the time, so I made it, and it's it's not bad. We'll see how it works later. So, I got that, the uh, <coughs> 511 has got a goofy handle on it, and it's not comfortable for me, so I'm going to be thinking up some modifications for that, and maybe we'll show you how to do them. Maybe I'll have to get a second one, I don't know. But I'll do a little tabletop on that one. I haven't seen a lot of uh, reviews on the 511, and I like it. It's uh, got a great edge on it, and it's a nice little knife. So, those are some projects um, that we're working on. So, I'm going to work on the Taurus here for a little while, and take it from there. So stay safe, have a great afternoon, it is afternoon here, <laughs> and uh, it's my first day off, it seems like in forever, but I know it's been not that long, um, so I'm going to have dinner with my wife tonight and enjoy it, so stay safe, God bless, and we'll catch you in the next one, bye for now.